Hey everyone, it's Janelle, Cumberland Valley Martial Arts and Yoga Center, bringing you another aerial arts flow. Um, the last video that I did was the first time I had ever did that, so being number two, still working out some of the quirks and things, so bear with me. Um, just excited to bring you a practice today and get the body moving. So take your body where it wants to go. Enjoy the practice. When you need to modify, modify. When you need a breath, take a breath. And we're going to start side seated in the hammock, starting into our breath work and getting our mind set in. So whenever you're ready, you're just going to reach up, grabbing the hammock on one side, taking a nice full breath. Other hand comes up. You're going to press away. Press the hammock away. You're going to see how it lifts up the hip. Go ahead and slide that leg in, bending at the knee. Give a little pull. You are going to get some movement in the hammock. And then after you take your next breath, you'll press through, bringing yourself side seated into the hammock. I like to always give a nice little pull up nice and high to get myself side seated. Just helps to make sure that my tailbone's sitting up nice and tall and my crown of the head's reaching up high for the ceiling. So once you get there, we're going to go ahead and come into getting set up for womb pose. So when we bring our legs inside the hammock, it's going to look just like this, but we'll be supported with the hammock. So it's like if I was sitting on the mat in a wide angle stretch with the legs. So whenever you're ready, you'll go ahead and reach down, bring your leg in. Bring the opposite leg in. You'll be ready for some teeter-tottering from side to side. That should settle down in just a moment. Go ahead and start to flex the feet. You notice that I have my toes sticking out of the hammock. As long as my heels pressed in, I got good support. So it doesn't matter if the toes um, or the whole foot is covered or not. So from here, back is nice and tall, pressed into the hammock. We're going to go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together, bending at the knee. And that's going to put us into our womb pose. So from here, just sitting up nice and tall, we'll start to come into our warming breath, the breath that keeps the heat inside the body. You can close your eyes here if you feel comfortable. As you feel the back of the hammock pressing onto the back and the back of the head, allowing the hands to rest wherever they feel comfortable inside the hammock. If you want palms facing up to open those shoulders for breath work, absolutely perfect. So from here, taking two cleansing breaths, breathing in the nose, and exhaling out the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling out the mouth. As you get ready to travel through your next inhale, bringing it in the nose. And let's see if we can start to travel that breath out the nose. As you start to flow your breath in and out the nose, finding that five to six inhale, exhale count, maybe even a little bit more on the exhale, releasing toxins, thoughts, things that are not serving your practice th this class, and just allowing yourself to settle into the hammock and be in the present. Before we entered the hammock, things that happened are the past. And as we exit the hammock after our practice, that's the future. So let's just be focused on the present, giving the body what it needs, working through your breath work and finding those areas of tightness, of tension, and as always, modifying as needed to honor the body. First and foremost, taking a nice full breath in, Clearing the mind and letting the breath go. Taking two more breaths right there. And then we're going to start into getting ready to warming up that back. It's important to warm the spine up and allow the back to be ready for flow and movement. So on your next inhale breath, we're going to go ahead and open those legs up nice and wide in the hammock. Flex the feet. Take a nice full breath. Inhaling both hands up overhead, relaxing the shoulders into the socket. Picking one side of the body, your choice, allowing that arm to travel down the leg on the same side of the body, and maybe it meets up with peace fingers around the big toe, maybe it's the ankle, or the calf, whatever's available to you today. From there, we'll take a nice full breath in. That arm that's up overhead is now going to start to hinge right over the body, just like a rainbow, reaching out and extending right over top of that connected hand and foot, 
keeping the shoulder stacked and not rounding forward. So that top arm may be up here, it may be down here, wherever you can feel the stretch. But you've got those nice stacking of the shoulders. And then as you take your next breath and release it, you come back to center and you just set up for that exact same flow on the opposite side. So now piece fingers around the big toe on the opposite side, same arm reaches down. Nice full breath in, that arm that's up overhead is going to start to extend out, reaching through that connected hand and foot right over top of there, through the hammock, and allowing for those stacked shoulders. Your gaze can always be up at that top arm, or you can just gaze neutral straight forward towards the hammock. Flowing from side to side with those breaths at your own pace, and always knowing that if one side feels really good, you can always stay there for a breath or two and just get some extra stretching. Starting to really feel that stretch from the rib cage right under that armpit and down into the hip area. Traveling back and forth at your own pace. Taking your evening out right where you're at now and giving yourself one more on each side. Maybe taking a full round of breath work as you travel to that opposite side. And coming back to center, hands resting on the legs, taking a breath right there, and just letting the movements of that warm up settle into the body. From there, we're going to go ahead and allow for the legs to start to extend out of the hammock. Hammock's going to come to rest right behind the knees. Again, reach up nice and high and just give a pull lift up on the tailbone and set the body back down. And that way we have that nice tall spine. Taking a nice full breath, getting set up for our cat cows. We're going to inhale, arms out nice and wide into a T. Mini gaze up towards the ceiling without throwing the head back. Beautiful curve in the spine. Bring that breath the whole way in. And on the exhale, we're going to bring those knees together, arms together. Just like we're holding a big beach ball, arms come to the outside front of the hammock. And that chin can always roll into the chest if that feels good for a little extra stretch. Bringing the gaze back to neutral as we open up, inhaling. Full breath in, exhaling round the back, inhaling full breath in, exhaling. Two more, again allowing yourself to stay in one of those areas for just a few breaths if that feels good. And then you can catch back up and just center in the flow wherever we're at. For this last one, let's inhale open. See if we can interlace the fingers behind the back, right about mid-back. Shoulders are down, back is tall. Take a full breath in, and on that exhale, let's start to travel those arms down towards the tailbone, releasing into the shoulders. Nice full breath. And as you take your next inhale, start to let those hands go glide back up the back, releasing and exhale round the back. Maybe here you even decide to go a little deeper and extend hands to opposite shoulders and just allowing for a little more rounding into the spine. And inhaling open back to center, palms resting on the legs, facing up if that feels comfortable and just again cleansing breath and allowing it all to settle in. Setting up for our next and final direction of the spine, we're going to get those twists. So let's inhale those hands up overhead. Bring the full breath in. Upper body's going to turn towards the front of the hammock. Take a nice deep breath. Both arms reach out nice and wide. Bottom and that front leg tucks in under the hammock. So we're not rounding the back. We want to stay nice and long. Inhaling up, both hands come up overhead and we'll extend towards the back of the room. Both arms reach out nice and wide, palms facing forward. Just remember you can always tuck that front leg in under for a little more balance if you feel as though you're top heavy. Inhaling in, full breath. This time let's press the palms away. Just a little more different movement, gazing towards the mat, just a few feet above the hammock. Inhaling up. Exhaling again, pressing away with the palms. And inhaling back up. 
full breath, palms rest right on the leg, allowing for all six directions of the spine to be warmed up and moved. And just starting to take a few breaths right there, again, scanning the body, checking for areas of tightness, things that we may need to do to release and put extra breath into that area. As we take our next breath in, nice and steady, slow exhale. From there, we're going to go ahead and reach both hands on the hammock. We're going to press the hammock away to come back towards the front of the room. I will be turning towards the back so that you can see the setup and then I'll be facing you once I go up into my first inversion, which is going to be our bad inversion. So whenever you're ready, you're going to press away and face towards me. I'm going to press away and I'm going to be facing away from you. Foot comes in under the hammock. We press and kick the whole way through, reach up and glide the body around. Again, you will be facing towards me and I'm going to be facing away from you. Getting set up for bat. I like to do bat for my first inversion. Helps us to see where our balance is going to be for the practice. So once we have that hammock up and have that little shawl, we're going to go ahead and lay down and do that little cross check on the shoulders. Making sure not to have too much. Reaching up nice and high, bringing those feet onto the hammock and pressing into the hammock as you start to glide the body up. Once you come up for that first inversion, move that head around a little bit. Make sure it's comfortable on the shoulders and the neck. Take a few cleansing breaths here to let the inversion settle in. Feet stay connected and hands stay connected to the hammock till we take those few breaths in. Notice I have my eyes closed, just sort of focusing on the mind and where the pressure and the blood flow is. Inhaling in the nose, steady, slow exhale out the mouth. And then from here, if I'm feeling pretty good, maybe I release the hands, leaving the feet stay connected. And those of you who travel through class with me, are you seasoned aerialist, as I like to call you? You're going to reach up, take a nice little full breath, and let's just start to bring some movement in. So maybe those feet come together to center. Always know that taking them back out and finding connection can help the steadiness of the balance and let's come through with a few little splits maybe even putting some bend in the knee just remember when you're doing this any movement that you do take it nice and slow until you find your balance because moving the body changes the balance in each movement of bat if you're feeling pretty good and want an extra back bend take those legs out nice and wide you're going to wrap them around the hammock shoulders stay pressed in and I start to just bringing a little back bend into the body, arching, engaging the core for protection. Nice full breath. Maybe you even want to try a little balance by bringing yourself into a little bit of an easy seated with the legs and then starting to tip into a back bend from there. It's making sure that you feel comfortable with your movements. When you've had enough of that, we'll take one little extra challenge and go ahead and start to bring the feet towards the mat, holding on to the hammock at all times. Notice that I'm in a halfway lift. If I turn a little to the side, you'll see my shoulders are pressed in. I don't want to lift up out of this because then I will lose my shoulder wrap. So I'm going to reach up nice and high, take a full breath in, and we're going to see if we can come right back up into bat, and we're there. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Be proud if you get there and be proud for the challenge that will be there for you the next time if you didn't quite get the lift. After you feel pretty good about all your bat movements, go ahead and let your bottom slide back down into the hammock. Let your feet dangle into the hammock in this part that was at the head and neck. Bring it up. Let the head rest in there. Taking a few breaths to just allow for that inversion to settle in. We are going to come into right away a back-to-back -back inversion so we're going to come into a little bit of a fish pose a little bit of a back bend pose so allowing the breath to settle and once you feel good opening and closing the eyes a little bit we're going to reach up hands on the hammock bring the feet into the hammock lift up on the upper body and start to press the hammock away
that's going to bring that hammock to right about mid back i like to start there because it, it will roll depending on your clothing you can start to let the hand stay connected and allow yourself to fill that hammock right in along the hips you can always hold on here again i'm working through my breath but you can always hold on if you feel like you have a little bit too top heaviness you can always, if you're feeling comfortable, reach down and steady yourself with your hands. Movements from here, interlacing the hands and again releasing those shoulders. Maybe choosing to take the legs wide and high or the soles of the feet together. Whatever feels good to you in your back. Remember, you can always extend into this by holding on if you feel more comfortable with that. If you want to take that a little deeper, kicking those legs out the back side of the hammock. Hammock comes to rest at the knees and then we can come into full bow pose, reaching for the feet, the ankles. Nice full deep breath. Hands come up, feet go back in and just like I'm climbing up a ladder, I'm going to walk my hands up the rope, coming up nice and tall and then just finishing out with a forward fold there. Of course, anytime we take those back bends, we want a forward fold. And then from there, again, I'm facing away from you, but only for a moment. We're going to bring our legs out, up nice and tall, and release in the hammock. And I'll come back around and meet up with you to the front of the hammock. Take a few breaths right there and just allow that all to settle in. We're going to come right away into our rib hang. So from there, hammock's going to come right about mid-back, right, right about under the shoulder blades. Go ahead and just allow your hands to press out and sort of fill that. And then from there, you're just going to slide the hands up. It's going to make that hammock just a little bit loose around the back. Body is strong and straight, just like a surfboard, no bending. We're going to go ahead and lift up off the balls of the feet, resting onto the heels, bending the elbows, and just allowing the body to come back into the hammock. Finding that spot, you may need to wiggle it back into the spot or move the hammock around a little bit, finding your area. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and just allow my legs to stay nice and long. Reach those arms out nice and wide. Take a nice full breath. On that next breath, we're going to go ahead and allow the right arm to just come down along that right leg and left arm's going to come up and just extend back behind us, reaching towards the right side of the room, nice and long. And then inhaling back to that T with the arms, back to center with the body. You can even drop the hips a little bit there if that feels good. Engaging that core. And then left arm comes down along, left leg, and we reach out. You can always gaze up or gaze neutral towards the front, whatever feels better to you. Inhaling back up. Core's nice and engaged. You can always, as you're extending to one side, drop the opposite hip. So my left hip is dropping down. It gives me a little bit of a twist and a lateral together. I like to work a few different parts of the body with different movements as we work through our practice, getting the most out of our flow. And then coming back to that center line, full deep breath from there, we're going to go ahead and bend the knees, finding our chair pose. In chair pose, you can allow the arms to interlace out in the front. You can allow them just to drip down beside you or nice soft holding on the, to the hammock on each side, just placing the hands there. Nice full breath. Let's go ahead and work through some sassy hips. So we're going to engage the core, inhale, tuck the tailbone, lifting up, nice tight core. And on the exhale, coming back down to chair, inhaling, this time pressing the hips to the right, keeping the core engaged as we press the hips to the left. Nice core engagement. Exhale, release the breath. Tailbone drips down deeper towards the mat. Inhaling, tucking tailbone, keeping tailbone tucked, keeping core engaged. Again, shifting to the left, coming back to center, shifting to the right. Back to center, exhale, release. Full breath in, full breath out. As we take our next breath, we're going to go ahead and straighten the legs nice and long. 
And from there, go ahead and bring the hams up onto the hammock. And you can see me heel toeing one foot to be my center balance leg. The other leg, the right leg is going to come beside. I'm going to take a nice full breath. I'm going to inhale and exhale down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Foot is flexed. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Next breath, bringing it up. Let's bend the knee and open the hip up, bringing the knee out towards that right side. Inhaling back to center, kicking it out, exhaling down. Full breath, inhaling up, bringing the knee in. This time, let's internally rotate, taking a different movement and a different stretch on the body. Back to center, releasing back down. Full breath. Now we have this right leg as our base leg. We're going to go right away. Full breath in, full breath out. As you come down, keep that core engaged and see if you can drop that heel just slightly above the mat. A little more tension there, a little more core work. Let's bring it up, bend the knee, open the hip. Full breath in, exhale, take it out, release, bringing it up, bending in, and now again across the body. Different stretch, back to center, core still engaged, exhaling back down. Full breath in, full breath out, finding chair. Nice, deep, full breath. And from there, legs straighten, inhaling, arms back nice and long, full breath. Exhale, release that breath out, beautiful, long, staring at the ceiling, not to throw the head back. Nice, full, deep breath. Exhale, find chair. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, chair. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, chair. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, finding chair. Nice, full, deep breath in. Exhale it out. Reaching up nice and high, grabbing for that hammock, pulling the body up nice and tall, reaching the arms out and taking those airplane arms. And then from there, release in the hammock. Taking a nice little breath there. And then from there, let's go ahead and just grab that hammock, and bring it right around or overhead, whatever feels better for you. And we're gonna come into our wrist strap. Once you find your wrist strap, take a nice deep breath right there. Exhaling it out. From there, we're gonna go ahead and come down to the mat. And I'm just on my knees. Hammock is out nice and wide. Nice full breath. Exhaling it out. From here, let's go ahead and work a little bit of the arms and a little bit of the core. <clears throat> so I'm bending my elbows. Arms are staying nice and tight in towards the body. To turn to the side so you can see, I have my big toes coming together. Okay, so I have a little tripod with my feet. Taking a nice full breath in. On the exhale, elbows are going to stay bent, and I'm just going to start to hinge back, engaging the core, keeping the elbows bent. Nice full breath in. On the exhale, doing just like I'm doing that little pull up, and then hinging forward. Arms out nice and wide, heels come towards the bottom. Inhaling back up, engaging the core, tipping back. Again, pulling up with the arms, exhaling, dropping the tailbone towards those feet. Gazing towards the mat, inhaling up, nice full core, exhaling, release out. Remember to straighten those arms as you bring that tailbone towards the feet and towards the mat. And one more, hinging back. Maybe this time you go a little deeper, still gazing at the ceiling by straightening your arms. You're going to feel that stretch in those front of the thighs, nice deep stretch. Again, using the arms to pull the body up. Exhaling out, full breath, tailbone comes down towards the mat, and you can even bend those elbows there as you release. From there, we're going to go ahead and come down to our bottoms. Soles of the feet are on the mat. I'm going to go ahead and reach up and do a little pull up here. 
and coming down, pulling up, working through a few of those. And on your next one, we're going to tip back nice and tall, releasing up, hips, hard head, finding that wrist strap, coming up nice and tall. And then from there, let's go a little wider, taking the legs nice and wide. We're going to go ahead, hinge into our halfway lift, take a nice full breath. And on the exhale, we're going to slide the body back up, keeping ourselves in the wrist strap. It's almost like a little five-pointed star. And then finding that halfway lift and bringing it back up. Legs are straight but not locked. This time as we exhale halfway lift, let's start to let those hands glide together, bending the elbows and hinging a little deeper forward, taking a modified wide angle forward fold. Working through the breath. And then nice and slowly rolling the body back up. From there, taking it a little bit wider, maybe shoulder distance, nice full breath. We're going to go ahead and bend the left knee, drifting to the left side, coming back up nice and tall, bending the right knee, coming back up. Maybe this time we decide to put a little bit of flow and balance into it. Coming back to center, dipping down to goddess, inhaling back up. Make sure you flex the foot, leading with the heel. When you come back down and you take that little goddess flow, make sure those knees are dipped back behind the toes. And of course, holding on to the hammock gives you your balance. And coming back to center, nice and slowly coming back up, releasing the hands from there and just taking a few little shakes. If you ever feel tingling in your hands after you do a lot of upper body work with the hammock, it's a lot of upper body strength. You can always just squeeze really tight, take a nice full breath and on the exhale, just like you're throwing something out of your hands and release that energy. That should help with the tingling. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to come into another inversion. Just working on my technical things here in my side, bearing with me. From here, we're going to go ahead and take the hammock. We're going to come right into our hip hang, of course, right where we hinge at the hips, bringing the hands towards the mat. The body then holds the hammock in place. We're going to lift those legs wide and high, pressing the mat away, taking a nice full breath. Again, you can point and flex the toes, ankle roll in each direction, just letting that inversion settle into the body. I'm pressing the mat away right now, taking the legs wide and high breathing through the breath. From here, we're going to take a nice full breath in. We're going to start to hinge forward in the hammock. So the shoulders stacked over the wrist. I'm going to go ahead and look over my right shoulder. I'm going to bring the right leg to the outside of the hammock. So it doesn't come through the center, it goes out wide. And then as it does that, the front top of my foot hooks into the front side of the hammock and I can glide my leg up. It always reminds me of a little barbershop hole where they have the red, the blue, and the white. So that's what that reminds me of with that hammock wrapped around the leg, that pattern. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and let the opposite leg, the left leg, is going to drop towards the mat. It may get there, it may not. You may have to start to walk the hands forward just a little bit till you find that placement on the mat with just the ball of the foot. Take a nice full breath and at the same time you press the foot into the mat, you're going to press the hands into the mat just like you're pressing your mat towards me. That's going to get that head closer to that base leg. It's going to open up that hip a little more. We're just working through the breath right here. You can straighten that leg in the hammock a little wider and taller if it feels good. Breathing it out. From here, we'll take a nice full breath in, full breath out, and let's start to walk forward just a little bit more. We're going to take this into flying stick, or we'll give it a try. So I'm going to come as far forward as I can, and this is where you just allow for the fear to escape the mind. Trust yourself, trust your hammock. Take a nice full breath, and from here, I'm going to let go of the mat and reach for my ankle on that long leg. Full breath in. Both hands leave the mat, I find the ankle, and I'm just flowing. 
a little little low in my hammock but just flowing holding on to that long leg when I've had enough I wait till the body comes forward go ahead and bring the hands to the mat steady the body lift that leg up off the mat take the legs wide and high press the mat away again and just let both legs release pointing and flexing the toes seeing if you can feel a difference in the hips from there I'm gonna come forward again this time I'm gonna look back I'm gonna take that left leg it's gonna come to the outside lock into the hammock nice and tall step forward with the hands so walking the hands forward bring the sole of the foot on the mat pressing the mat away as I bring that face closer to that base leg on this side my whole entire foot found the mat on the opposite side it was just the ball of my foot so a little more flexibility in this side of my body today and your flexibility is different every day and the balance as well so keep that in mind as you work through your practices let's walk forward again we'll see if we can take that flying stick so if you feel pretty good you can press off the mat go ahead and reach for that foot you can put a little bend in the knee and you're just gonna glide it out very freeing just as I said trust yourself trust your body trust the hammock next time I'm forward I'm gonna reach the hands to the mat foot comes to the mat legs go wide and high finishing out my hip hang full breath I'm gonna go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together shoulders are stacked over the wrist take a nice deep breath in bend the elbows allow for the head to come down towards the mat crown of the head reaches towards the mat hands are in a little triangle making a nice tripod with the arms full deep breath and then from there nice and slowly let's finish out with a little bit of a supergirl superboy swing so we're going to bring the hands keeping the hands on the mat as we bring those feet towards the mat I'm going to reach up notice I grab the hammock thumbs facing down reaching up I'm keeping myself hinged over the hammock as I start to walk forward till I'm just about in that halfway lift and I but I'm not losing my hip wrap hands are up nice and high pressing off again and flying if you feel like the top of the body is coming too close to the mat as you can tell I'm looking sideways I have a mirror I'm looking into I'm just gonna walk my hands up so that I stay nice and long in the body if you feel I'm pretty good maybe you can find a spot to let go <laughs> finding the body just free and playing always holding on when the body feels like the balance is not there finding the feet on the mat coming up nice and slow head and shoulders come up last just making sure again I'm all hooked up coming out of that hip hang remember always hold on when you're coming up out of hip hang we always seem like we want to come out of that one fast because it is putting the pressure on the hips which is a good thing that's where we hold a lot of tension and stress so it's nice to be able to release that and um, also then when you're holding on to the hammock and you come up you don't lose your balance as you're coming out of that so but that's the rib hang and the hip hang back to back so from here we're gonna go ahead and bring the legs in to the hammock and get a little bit of leg work um, in the hammock so I thought that we could go ahead and come into standing in the hammock so from here I'm gonna go ahead and bring my right foot into the hammock notice that I bunch the hammock up and I'm bringing it right under the sole of my foot right in the arch and then I flex the foot right away it's important when you're coming to stand up in the hammock to make sure that you bring the knee through the hammock and when you go to come up that instead of swinging you're coming up instead of pressing out so it looks like this I'm gonna reach up nice and high go ahead and bend the elbows glide the body up you will get a little bit of swinging but from here both feet come in side by side take a nice deep breath exhale it out 
So from here, if you want a little bit of core challenge, you can always take one leg. You're going to lift the leg, doesn't matter which one, bend the knee. And then from there, glide the sole of that foot up. So I'm using the right leg. I'm gliding up the right side of the hammock. I'm holding on. As I press out towards the right side, I'm going to glide left foot up. From there, I'm a little bit higher in the hammock, working the core. And then I can also always straighten the arms. You'll get a little shake as you're working that core, full, full core strength. Nice and slow, bending the elbows. And then allowing yourself to glide back down taking a nice full breath from here we're going to go ahead and find our tree pose so easiest way to come into that is just to take i'm going to take left leg behind it's going to come around the outside of the hammock and just remember never rest the foot on the knee so you can go lower or you can go higher we'll stay down here lower now to get a little more support the leg that you have back you're going to bring that same elbow through and that hammock's going to rest right on the back of your shoulder so when you do that, you're finding your pose. So it doesn't matter how much I move, I'm locked in by having the shoulder. So just remember the same knee, or the same knee that's bent, the same leg that's up, making your little tree branch, that's the same shoulder that comes out. So once you feel pretty good about that, bring your hands up, bring the leg back around, and then bring the shoulder through. Both feet come in, we'll try it on the other side. Leg goes back, full breath, reaches out, comes around so it's going behind you comes around finds that tree and then again I need to bring the elbow through trust yourself with the hammock this arm stays around and you can bring the palms together to heart center or you can just have a nice wide branch of on your tree pose feeling the success and the freedom of being up in your hammock when you feel pretty good, hand comes back to the hammock. I always wiggle the leg in first and then reposition the arms. So from here, we'll take it into a dancer. And this will bring us up and down. So from here, instead of going back, the leg's going to come forward this time. So left leg comes forward, that comes around the outside of the hammock. And when I go ahead and release that foot in the hammock, it takes the place of the foot that was just in there. So now my right foot comes forward. Once I do that, nice little full breath. I'm going to show that again. So left foot comes forward, wraps around the hammock, and right when it presses down, opposite foot comes out. From there, I have my right foot forward now. I'm going to bring elbow through and reposition my hands on the hammock, grabbing with thumb down, elbow through, thumb down. Nice full breath. I'm going to come and find the mat. And what that did was put me in a little bit of a wrap, an ankle wrap. So I have an ankle wrap behind me. I like to bring the hammock together behind me so both hands are connected to both sides of the hammock. You're going to start to walk the hands down the hammock, keeping the knee facing the mat. And that's going to bring you into your dancer. From there, if you're feeling pretty good and you want to challenge your balance, that leg that's on the mat, bring that arm off the hammock. Take it out nice and long. Full breath in finding your balance and stability exhale it out when you've had enough you bring the hands up gliding up so it looks like this I'll turn to the side hands are gonna come down reach the leg up and then from there I can release out for balance knee stays pressed down foot is flexed when I want to come back up coming back towards the front releasing the foot from the hammock and then I like to just take a little press from side to side, seeing how that fills in the hips and the legs. And let's take it back up. So again, knee through, pulling the body back up. Both feet are in, nice full breath. Foot comes forward, locks around, drips down, leg is forward on that left side, elbows come through, reposition the hands, glide down, finding your ankle wrap connecting the hammock, starting to walk the hands down as the upper body hinges forward, releasing out nice and long, finding your balance, finding your dancer, feeling good. And then again, hands come up, we walk up, release the foot out of the hammock. And then from there, let's just go ahead and come into a nice wide, twisting hammock right along the backside and just flowing it out. 
from there, taking a little breath. And we'll go ahead and come into the leg flow it was pretty good. Releasing into that, working into the arms. So we'll go ahead and come into two back-to-back -back inversions. We're going to come into Baby Vampire Butterfly. So I'm going to, again, be turned away from you. So you're just going to come seated in the hammock facing towards me. And I'm going to come in facing away from you. So think about that, that pose that we did earlier. I'm going to get myself set in. I just lost my clip. So we're all good. As I was saying, think about the bat that we did earlier. We're going to do that same position with our um, upper body. So we bring the hammock out nice and wide. We come into laying down for bat. This time we kick the legs in. So the legs are long in the hammock. And I want to take the bottom part of the hammock and just bring it right around my legs. Okay? So it can come down to your heels, or I mean down to your feet if, if you're a season more comfortable with this. You're going to hold on, bring the knees into the chest, and it's, again, it's a backward somersault, but this time my feet are going to catch in the hammock. So baby, vampire, and then butterfly, we're out nice and long. Full breath. So you can work a little core by coming in and releasing out. Full breath, coming in, releasing out, coming back around, and then as always, you can bring the head in and take a little breath. If you want to take that into a little more advanced move, I'm going to bring one leg in and keep one leg out. They're going to be side by side, so watch what happens. As I come into this, the leg that's out finds that mat. From there, holding on to the hammock, I can start to extend nice and long, really getting on a good stretch on that front leg. Maybe I'm going to test my balance by coming out to the side, releasing back, coming to the heel of that base leg, taking a little bit of flight, pressing off, and then from there, flipping right back around, switching legs, coming to the mat, full breath, and when that happens, just take a breath, regain your balance, and then find your release, taking a little fun flow here to flip back in, you can bring that leg out wide, and the next time that comes out, press back and flip all at the same time, go ahead and bring your head in and take a little breath right there, for your baby vampire butterfly. Always keeping the shoulders locked. When you do that flip and you bring those feet to the mat, notice that my shoulders, I stay in that halfway lift, just to show that again. Because if I start to come up, I lose my shoulder wrap and that brings me out of the wrap, which we don't want. So then from there, if you're feeling pretty good, you can go ahead and holding on to the hammock, find your flip out, come up nice and slow, and then we're going to get set up for our final inversion, which is going to be our sacrum, and with our sacrum, we're going to take that into just a little bit more of a fun flow, um, I'll show you two flips that you can do from that, so I'm going to be behind again, finding the place for my sacrum, again it's right at the about the pant line, not up too high, not too low. Take a nice full breath. I'm going to come back, hinge, and just repositioning again. <laughs> and then from here, nice deep breath, taking and breathing through the breath work. Nice full breath in, full breath out. And remember to come out, handles, legs wide and high coming up and taking your rag doll. So coming this way so that you can see the placement of the body for the two flips, it's going to look like this. So I'll be facing away from you for a moment and then you'll see me. So coming the same way, legs wide and high. And then to come into releasing up into the hammock, instead of going for my handles here, I'm going to reach above my feet once I come there, I'm going to start to kick the legs towards the front of the room as I walk the hands up. 
Okay, that's going to bring me right here into horse. So you can play with that by engaging the core, releasing. If I want to take a flip from here, I'm going to bring elbows forward, elbows forward, thumbs facing down, keeping a hold of the hammock, elbows are bent, locked back in, and release down. Again, looks like this. And release down. Nice full breath. Just letting it settle. From there, coming up again. Notice you get very windy doing this. A lot of exertion. From here, for my angel wing flip, I'm going to pick one side. I'm going to lead with my right shoulder. So left hand stays hung on, right shoulder, arm comes off. I'm going to go ahead, notice knees are bent. I'm going to start to roll towards the left, coming into my angel wing. To come out of that, I keep a hold, start to bring the leg, lock it, and then that's got me right back into my original hang. And I'm just repositioning again. Well, really struggling this time. Okay, nice full breath. And then from there to come up, legs wide and high, coming forward and take that rag doll right away. Coming up nice and slow. From here, we'll get ready for Shavasana. So shaking that hammock out. When you do the sushi wrap and roll or the angel wing flip out, your hammock really gets twisted up. So you may have noticed that we're going to start to cool the body down, but we did go into some advanced things today. Give them a try. If you like them, maybe you'll find a little something to add on, but just always be safe. Always keep the balance and maintaining your control on the hammock. So from here, we're going to go ahead and cool down with some cool down movements coming into Shavasana. Taking a nice full breath. Let's go ahead and shake that hammock out. And we're going to bring the legs in and coming into laying down inside the hammock. Let's go ahead and take whatever leg you choose, yogi's choice. Lift one leg up nice and high. So the foot reaching up towards the ceiling. Take a nice full breath. And on the exhale, let's go ahead and bend that knee, bringing that thigh right in towards the belly. And take both of those hands up. Just give it a nice big hug. Shoulders are relaxing. Starting to slow the breath down with the movements. Inhaling leg up nice and high. Cascading the leg in to the hammock right away. Other leg comes up. Again, point and flex the toes. Bend the knee. Give a nice little hug. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. And next breath, leg goes wide and high. Finds the hammock side by side with the other leg. Heels are pressed into the hammock. Soles of the feet are reaching forward. We're just going to inhale those legs open nice and wide. If you were to look forward, you'd have a little wall of hammock between me and you. Your hammock in the front. Flexing the feet and exhaling, gliding the legs back together. Inhaling open. This time maybe put a little bend in the knees for a little modified happy baby. Exhale, release. Nice full breath from there. Take both legs wide and high. Just remember the hammock is going to come close to the bottom. Go ahead and bend the knees and just give a nice big hug in towards the body. Fill in the thighs on the belly and chest as you gaze up towards the ceiling. Nice full deep breath in. Nice full deep breath release. From there bringing, I like to make sure that I fill my feet in the hammock instead of just taking the legs out nice and wide. And let's go ahead and come into any other movements that feel good to you. Maybe just taking that long all over body stretch. 
And once you come back inside the hammock, we're going to go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drift out to each side. Go ahead and let the hands come inside the hammock. Take that right hand and just rest it right on your heart and left hand on your belly. Let the eyes come closed. And as you start to focus on that right hand at the heart and the left hand, feeling the breath enter and exit the body, starting to slow down the breath, letting the body become still and the mind to wander free. Knowing that as you start to slow the breath down, each exhale, releasing tension, stress in those areas of the body, starting from the face, softening your face, letting your shoulders and back just start to feel the connection and melting within the hammock. Fill in the knees as they drift out to each side and the connection of the feet, knowing that the body is strengthened, stretched, and now it's time to just allow all the benefits of the practice to release into the body, allowing for the mind to just wander and the body to relax. Taking notice if the mind is having trouble releasing, focus on the beating of the heart or the breath entering and exiting the body as the belly slightly rises and then as it falls, as the breath releases, flowing each breath knowing that if that butterfly stretch of the legs is a little too much, always straightening the legs and finding the release within your body. Breathing through each breath and allowing the body to relax. as the body is gentle and still and relaxed, knowing that if you need more time, more release in Chavasana, allowing yourself to take that time, staying here as long as you want, and always releasing from the video also, if this is where you want your time to just release into a longer Shavasana. Taking a few breaths to start to allow some awareness to come back into the body, 
maybe taking a little roll from side to side with the head, wiggling fingers and toes, ankles or wrist rolls, allowing for the breath and the movements to start to come together, bringing awareness into the room and into the hammock. After taking those movements and things are creaking and cracking in the body, nice and slowly, starting to let the legs release out the front of the hammock, bringing hands up to the hammock, using the hammock to pull the body up, keeping the eyes closed if you feel comfortable, letting the muscle memory work within the body, bringing the palms together to heart center, sharing in one final breath to close the class and our practice together today. Inhaling hands up overhead, letting the eyes start to come open as you look up, palms together, exhaling, following with your gaze to heart center, releasing the breath. My light, my energy honors your light, your energy. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Just remember as you work through your aerial practice that balance is different every day in the body and flexibility is different too. So modify when needed, do what feels good to your body, be safe, and that's exactly where you're supposed to be in your aerial practice. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to practicing with you again really soon. Goodbye.